Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to see the program which converts a normal binary search tree to a balanced binary search tree. First, let us take an example. For the given input, root 20 becomes the root node, 30 becomes its right child and 10 becomes its left child for it to be balanced. Now let us see the approach. We traverse the given BST in in order and store result in an array. Then we build a balanced BST from the above sorted array using the recursive approach. Next let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 30 to build tree function. Next, we create a vector nodes which will store the in order traversal of this tree. So vector nodes will be 10, 20, 30. Now we take an integer which will be equal to the number of elements in vector node that is 3. Then we pass vector nodes 0 to start and 2 to end to build tree util function. Since start is not greater than end, we take an integer mid which will be equal to start plus end by 2 that is 1. We set root to element at index 1 in nodes vector. So root will be 20. Then we call for the left child of root. So we pass nodes start and mid minus 1 to end to the build tree util function using a call stack. As start is not greater than end, we set mid to start plus end by 2 that is 0. So mid will be 0 and root will be element at index 0 that is 10. We call for the left child of 10 along with mid minus 1 for end. Now as start is greater than end, the base condition gets satisfied and we return null. Next we call for the right child of 10 along with mid plus 1 for start. Again as start is greater than end, the base case gets satisfied and we return null. Now 10s and left and right are null and we finish execution for node 10 and return 10 to the previous call. Execution for root 20 is resumed and now we pass for the right child of 20 along with mid plus 1 for start. The base case does not get satisfied and mid will be 2 plus 2 by 2 that is 2 and root will be element at index 2 that is 30. We call for the left child of 30 along with mid minus 1 for end. As start is greater than end, the base case gets satisfied and we return null. Next we call for the right child of 30 along with mid plus 1 for start. As start is greater than end, we return null. 30's left and right are both null and we finish execution for node 30 and return 30 to the previous call. Execution for root 20 is also over and 20's right will be 30's and left 10. So nodes 10 and 30 will have parent 20 and we return 20 which is our root to the caller function. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.